afternoon uh, talking to people on the committee, uh, talking to family members uh, that came by here. Uh, they really expressed how much interest, how much fervor there was in Eastwood High School Athletics. It really shows out here this afternoon just the, the, the power, the energy that you guys have out here. Uh, one of the big things watching the drum corps go after it, guys, we're going to use you next year and Friday nights to play as loud as you can, get after it. And with the other teams on offense, I don't want them to hear a sound over there other than you guys playing. All right, that was a great show, great show. Thanks for going to be up here at Eastwood, not only the football program, but the entire athletic program has got to be about family. It's got to be everybody supporting each other, getting after each other. All right, and support that. It's got to come from the community. It's got to come from the family members. It's got to come from the boosters. It's got to come from the from the teachers. Everybody together. I'll tell you a little bit about myself, uh, just so you guys know. So you don't have to wait till tomorrow. Uh, I started coaching about 13 years ago. I've coached in the college ranks at Northwestern State University in Louisiana. I've coached at Southwest Texas, which is now Texas State University. I coached in Bay City a few years ago. Went to a state championship game. Fell a little short. All right, it's still a goal of mine. A few years ago, it was like high school where I just left, class 5A. We went to the state ship, the state semifinal. All right, this is a school that has traditionally not been a football school. All right, it always been known as a basketball school, great basketball school. But we had to build up a football program. We had to start from the bottom. We had never won a second round playoff game in the entire school history. All right, my first year there, we went four rounds deep and faced the defending state championship. Katie Tyler and beat them on their uh, in their home. All right, we can do it here at Eastwood. All right, that's a goal we're going to have. We're going to set high goals. <laughs> it's going to take hard work. It's going to take a lot of hard work, not only from the players but the coaching staff, from the administration to the fans out there helping us out. All right, to the band playing on there, to the dancers going on tonight. Get going, these guys go. All right, it's a team community that's going to win this, win these games. All right, so understand when you show up next week, that's your goal. All right, that's what we're after as a school, as a football team, as a community. All right, we're not going to settle for second best. We're not going to settle for just beating Cornell or just beating Bel Air. Now that's not what we're about. We're about going a little bit farther than that. All right, so understand we're not just here to win district championship or win two games next year. That's not what our goal is. All right. Our goal is to be the best, to be the best in the state. Thank you, guys. All right. Thank you, sir. Appreciate it. The big thing is getting in, and, and there's some things, uh, just talking with Coach Becker and I, the principal, uh, there's a lot of things we're going to change. Uh, and just the way that the makeup is and the way that the school constructed for schedules next year is we take more opportunity of our, our facilities that we have here on campus. A lot of things I think are a little underutilized. Uh, one of the things we do got to do is get the kids that have been in, that have been kind of uh, moved away from football, from the success. They've gone to basketball, they've gone to baseball. Uh, they may have moved down to the street to another school uh, to find more successes. Getting those kids back in there and making it exciting to be out there part of the football program. Uh, one of the big things is it's just bringing in some new ideas, some fresh ways to do things. Uh, I'll give you a perfect example of uh, Brandon Faircloth was the uh, offensive coordinator over at Permian last year. Uh, went to a program over in East Texas. Uh, I know some friends over there. Uh, there was a program that was two and eight and just needed some new ideas, some new pressures. Uh, I think they went 11 and one last year. And this is the guy that moved from one end of the state to the other, uh, just like I'm doing, moving from Houston all the way out here to El Paso. It's something that can be done. The transition could be fast. It just has to get in there and do the hard work and get after it.
One of the things we're going to do, and I'll, I'll give you an example, the, the high school that I'm coming from is a highly academic institution also. Uh, we've got kids that uh, whose parents work at NASA. They, it is rocket science for some of those kids. Uh, but what we've done there is we've, we've installed a uh, college-style defense. It's a 4 2 5 that we ran it when I was at Southwest Texas. It's it's very good for kids that are sometimes undersized in positions and take advantage of it. Uh, two years ago, uh, in 2008, we were the number 22 defense in the entire state in 5A, and I had one kid that made all district on the first team. All right, and it said a lot about the team concept about the kids flying the ball, swarming mentality to get after the ball, and that's the thing that we've got to instill is to get after those kids to swarm the ball.